In this video, we will navigate to and explore office.com. Office.com is where all student files will be saved as well as the home for online Microsoft applications such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and more. Office.com can be reached from any computer in the world with internet access. This means you have access to create and locate saved documents from anywhere in the world and from any device with internet access. Using your Edge browser, navigate to office.com. Sign in should be automatic if previously signed into Edge. If not already signed in to Edge or accessing office.com from another device, the login information is your Schoology login at ecusd7.org. The password is the same password that you use to log on to your student device. Pause here to allow all students time to get logged in to office.com. Now that you are logged in, you have reached your office landing page. On this page, you will find documents most recently worked on. Click the waffle in the upper left hand corner to dive deeper. With the app launcher, also known as Waffle Open, you will see many Microsoft 365 apps. OneDrive is a very important one. OneDrive is where all documents should be saved. When you click into OneDrive, you will see on the left navigation, Home, My Files, Shared, Favorites, and Recycling Bin. My Files is where documents you create are saved. Shared is where documents created by teachers in Schoology are saved. The Recycle Bin is where deleted files go before permanently being deleted. Click into My Files. My Files is another place that documents can be created. To create a document, go to New, and then you could create a Word document. Notice the document opens in a new tab. You can click on the down arrow next to the document name to rename the document. You can also select the location in which you want to save the document from there. Notice the name changes and there's a little cloud with a check mark next to it. That indicates that the document is being automatically saved. When I type, you get a circular indicator saying that it is saving, and then when it is saved, you have the little check mark saying that it is saved and up to date. There is no need to use File Save As when you are using office.com to create documents because it automatically saves and you know that it's automatically saving because it says it was last saved and gives you a time and there's a check mark on the, the cloud. Let's go back over to OneDrive. There are multiple ways to get back to OneDrive from here. You can click back to the tab before that or you can go back to the waffle and go back to OneDrive. Let's go into My Files. And from here, we are going to organize our files. Organization is important in order to locate work once it's started. To create folders, we're gonna go to New, and then Folders, and we're gonna name folders by subject so that all of our work is saved and organized and easy to find. New, Folder, and title each folder by each subject. Press create, and you'll notice that there is a folder now listed for you. Pause here to create folders for each subject. Office.com is where files are originally stored. However, files can be located from the student desktop by clicking the File Explorer. This File Explorer is a shortcut to all the files that are stored at office.com. Clicking on the blue cloud at the bottom also gives you access to your files. 
by clicking view online. And then it takes you right back to your landing page. It is important to make sure the blue cloud at the bottom of your computer screen is blue at all times. If it has a red X on it, that means that there is a sync error that needs to be cleared up and you need to seek help. In this video, we have learned to locate saved files, create files, organize files, and check the OneDrive cloud on the desktop is blue.